The Generative Extend Tool is a tool in Premiere Pro that uses the Adobe Firefly AI software to extend a video or audio clip in the timeline. This feature is currently in beta and does have some limitations. I'm currently doing this tutorial in Premiere Pro Beta 25.1. To use the Generative Extend Tool, go to the toolbar and click on Generative Extend, and then hover over the corners of your clip to extend it. You will see a generating icon appear on your clip. And once it is complete, you will see that the part of the clip is labeled AI generated. If you don't like the way it looks, you can right click on the AI generated icon and click on generate again. You can also use the generative extend tool on footage that is 1920 by 1080 and 1280 by 720. If you try to use this tool on clips outside those dimensions, you will get a pop-up saying generative extend requires clips with either 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 resolution. As of this version of Premiere Pro Beta 25.1, you can only extend your video clip by two seconds and extend the audio by 10 seconds. The generative extend tool will not work on music tracks, but you can use the generative extend tool on audio like sound effects and room tone. If you want to use the generative extend tool on an audio clip, it has to be more than three seconds for this feature to work. If it is shorter than three seconds, you will get this pop-up saying generative extend requires audio clips longer than three seconds. You can also give Adobe feedback on the output of the generative extend by clicking on good output or poor output. Like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials, and I'll see you on the next one.